Welcome to this QuickBooks 2021 tutorial for beginners on how to reconcile your bank account. My name is Matt Holquist with the QuickBooks University. And so, you know, something that's really, really important that I see a lot of uh, new QuickBooks users, even experienced QuickBooks users not do is, you know, close out their books at the end of the month. And part of that process is reconciling your bank account in QuickBooks. Okay, so... Uh, if you remember back to when people had actual checkbooks and they had a little register where they wrote down, okay, here's, you know, the deposits, here's the checks that were written, then they get their bank statement at the end of the month and there was this handy little thing in the back of the bank statement where you reconciled and you said, okay, you know, the whole point of this is to make sure that what's in your checkbook matches what the bank says. All right. And so it's the same thing within QuickBooks, except we do it within the software. So again, the whole point of this is to make sure that uh, you have captured everything in QuickBooks that actually hits your bank account. And uh, because if you don't, you can throw off your checking balance, your savings balance, whatever, you know, cash balances you have in the business, you can really throw them off if you're not doing this every single month. So this is a, uh, a thing that you need to be doing as part of a monthly close of your books is reconciling your bank statement every single month. So I'm going to walk through how to do that uh, in this video. Okay. So first things, um, if you look on the home screen here, you can see here, there's this reconcile button. That's going to be the quickest way to get to it, but you can also go up here to banking and reconcile. Okay. So I'm going to click over here. We're going to say reconcile and you're going to see that it brings up, first of all, you got to choose the account. Okay. So this is going to be after you get your statement at the end of the month. All right. So this is in this uh, example, let me go back to this checking account. It's November 30th, 2023. So this is assuming this is the first part of December. We have just gotten this actual statement from the bank, whether it's online, you get it in the mail, doesn't really matter. Okay. So first things first, choose the account that you are reconciling and then make sure that the date is correct. Okay, this is going to be the statement ending date. Now, if you're reconciling every single month, it's going to default to the next month when you pull this up. Okay, so if it's not for some reason, sometimes banks have some odd statement ending dates like November 28th, uh, you know, just pick the correct date. Okay, beginning balance. All right, you want to make sure that this beginning balance matches the bank statement okay, that you just got from the bank. Now you'll see here's a link. What if my beginning balance doesn't match my statement? In this video, we're going to assume it does. I do have other videos which uh, walk you through what to do when that statement balance does not match. So just search the channel and you should be able to find those videos. Okay, so beginning balance 7142258, and then the ending balance. This comes directly from the bank statement, okay? And so you're going to look on your bank statement and you're going to say, okay, what is the ending bank statement balance? You're going to type in, okay, in this example, we're going to say $137,752.52. Now, if you had a uh, bank charge, you know, like a monthly service fee or whatever it is, you're going to enter that here. The date usually is at the end of the month, so the ending statement date, and then you're going to put it to bank service charges. And if you earn any interest, so if this is a savings account, a money market account, you're going to put this in here. Okay. So in this example, we're going to assume there were no bank service charges, no interest earned, and we're going to hit continue. Okay. So it brings up this screen here. And the first thing I want you to do is I want you to check this box, hide transactions after the statement end date. Okay. So this brings up all the transactions before November 30th, 2023. And on the left, you've got checks and payments. And on the right, you've got deposits and other credits to the bank account. All right, a couple things to note here. You're gonna notice this box down here. It says service charge and interest earned. That's from the previous screen. If you would have entered anything in there, they would show up here. You're gonna see the ending balance. This is what I typed in. And then you're gonna see a cleared balance and the difference. Okay, the whole goal of this reconciliation is to make sure this difference is zero. Okay, once it gets to zero, it means that you have reconciled your bank statement. Now over here, you're gonna see beginning balance 7142258. This should match your bank statement. And you'll see as I start checking off things that have cleared the bank, they will show up down here for deposits and other credits and checks and payments. Okay, so you, at this point, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go in and you're going to 
uh, check your bank statement. You know, you're going to look at the bank statement and say, okay, what cleared? All right. And what that means is if it's on the bank statement, it means it cleared. Okay. So you're going to go through and you're going to check. You're going to say, okay, this deposit was on the bank statement. This deposit was on the bank statement. And this deposit was on the bank statement. Okay. So all three of these deposits cleared the bank. So at this point, you want to just make sure that this matches your bank statement. The total deposits for the month were $81,975.50. Okay. If it does not match, then there is a problem and you're going to need to go back through and make sure you check these off, make sure that these were recorded correctly, etc. All right. Then next, you're going to go through all the checks and, you know, debit card transactions, ACH transactions, all that kind of stuff that cleared. Okay, so we're going to look at the bank statement. We're going to say, okay, all of these cleared. And what you can do is you can hold down your left mouse button and just drag down if there's a bunch of them that have cleared. Okay, and we'll see that um, once we get through all this, we check off this one. Okay, these have not cleared the bank. So that means they are outstanding checks at the end of the month. Okay, so now that I've checked off everything from the bank statement, my difference down here is zero. That means that I have reconciled. Now, if at any point you need to leave and go change something, you can click leave. And once you go back to reconcile, it'll bring you right back to this. Okay. So once you reconcile everything, now if there are problems with your reconciliation, it's not reconciling, etc. Um, again, go search for the videos on my channel. I've got uh, multiple videos on, you know, looking up reconciliation discrepancies and what to do with them. And, you know, if your beginning balance doesn't match, we've got plenty of videos out there on that. All right. So we've got everything checked off. Everything checks out. Difference is zero. We're going to click reconcile now. Okay. And... Once it brings this up, it says, congratulations, your account is balanced. All marked items have been cleared in the account register and then select the type of reconciliation report you'd like to see. So you can select summary or detail or both. Okay. I'm going to display these to show. Okay. So you're going to see, okay, I'm going to click that. This is a summary reconciliation right here. So it shows cleared transactions, uncleared transactions, the register balance 133 new transactions since then. So after November 30th, so your ending balance 122, it just shows you how you get from the register balance at 1130 to this ending balance. And you can also look at the reconciliation detail, and this is going to show you the detail of everything that cleared, everything that hasn't, hasn't cleared and all the new transactions. If you need to go in and look at this detail. Okay. Otherwise, from that point, you are done reconciling your bank account for that month. And again, this is something you want to make sure that you do every single month. All right. Any questions, any comments, feel free to leave those below. Also, head over to the QuickBooks University, teach you everything you need to know over there, and also answer personal QuickBooks questions. That website is qbuniversity.org.